Here's my Raspberry Pi that I got re finally got in the mail about a week ago. Just sat down to play with it a little bit and test out some of the functionality. I'm running Debian 6 image provided by raspberrypi.org on this SD card. The only issue I have with it is actually the HDMI audio doesn't work, but I think that's my Vizio television. I've tried some troubleshooting here and there, edit data and things like that with no luck. But I'm using GPIO now just for a quick demo. Got the um, simple LED circuit wired up as output on the Raspberry Pi to flash that. And I got a proximity infrared sensor as input. It takes 5 volt power coming from the Raspberry Pi for the device, but it outputs a 3.3 volt signal. And I got a little resistor on there just in case to protect that GPIO pin. And I'm using the Quick 2 Wire library. It gives you GPIO functionality on um, you know via via the actual kernel and you can use it through shell scripting but I'm also uh, they also include Python libraries for it so I'm using a little Python script that just monitors the uh, the PIR and when it detects motion it lights the LED there's no dampening it's very very basic uh, one for one swap in here so I'm sure you'll see a lot of false readings but um, it's got to get used to its environment. It takes a little while. But it's, it's a really basic circuit just to show that GPI, GPIO does work and it's, it's pretty easy to use, which I'm pretty excited about because there's just you know a lot more to come with that. You can do all kinds of good stuff, control some motors, maybe get some robots going. But there's also an X environment in uh, the Debian image, which I'm sure maybe if you're in a Raspberry Pi, you've seen a lot of demos. It's definitely a little bit sluggish, it's not like a mainstream PC or anything like that, but I'm just looking at it in terms of an advanced microcontroller. Very, very beautiful graphics. Looks very, very nice, and uh, they include this LXDE, it's got the little CPU monitor there in green, so you can kind of see that when you're actually out there doing stuff and doing tasks, you know what the CPU is actually using, and um, the little lightweight browser they have. It, it takes some time. I just clicked it, and it definitely takes some time to to load up and really really display its information. As you can see, that CPU is pegging out at 100%. Basically, whenever you're doing anything in the X environment, it's it's pegged out at 100%. So it's it's not meant for everyday use. There's the the window, and it's still loading. You know the page that I was at before. Looking at OMX player, so it's, it's definitely not you know a, a super fast internet browsing machine or anything like that. But as the page loads, you can see the CPU kind of drops off a bit. It's 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 managed you know quite well for the 256 megs of RAM and that it's got. And I think it's got a what is it a 800 megahertz CPU. Take a look at H top. You know it's it's definitely not. The most powerful thing in the world, but again, it wasn't meant to be a mainstream CPU or a computer. It's going to run super fast, but for thirty-five dollars, it's way more than I ever expected. And that's about it for the the actual Debian testing that I've done. Like I said, what's next will be open lec the XBMC distribution. Show you the plain video on that and my little GPIO setup. Pretty happy about that. Thanks for watching.